Although lithium ion batteries are prevalent throughout our society, they're not all the same. We have lithium batteries for electric vehicles, we have lithium batteries for our cell phones and laptops, and we have the deep cycle lithium ion batteries that dragonfly energy cells. They're different based on the chemistry of the cathode and the anode. For example, at Dragonfly Energy, we've talked a lot about our cathode being lithium iron phosphate. Lithium iron phosphate is a safer material in that it's not as flammable, it's a lot more stable. If you have a uh, consumer electronics device, you don't typically have lithium iron phosphate as the cathode, you have lithium cobalt oxide. Cobalt is actually a heavy toxic element, so those batteries need to be recycled, uh, but it does create a more energy dense lithium ion battery. If you're driving an electric vehicle, you want even more energy density. You want That means you want a lighter battery. Those chemistries are based on nickel and cobalt, either nickel cobalt manganese oxide, nickel cobalt aluminum oxide, those are typically called NCM or NCA. Those are very high energy density cathodes, but they also represent cathodes in a lithium ion battery. Now the anode, which is the negative side of the battery, typically is graphite. As we become more progressed in the technology, there are some anode materials that are more energy dense, things like silicon, and ultimately there are a number of folks that are working on trying to make a pure lithium metal anode. And in that case, the lithium ion reacts with the electron to form lithium metal on the anode. These are all types of lithium ion battery, which basically means you have a lithium ion moving back and forth between the anode and the cathode. But what makes these lithium ion batteries different from each other is the chemistry of the cathode and of the anode. At Dragonfly Energy, we work with the most stable cathode and anode materials, which is basically lithium iron phosphate on the cathode, graphite on the anode. 